Excellency, distinguished delegates and participants, I would like to welcome all of you to 18th annual meeting of the Internet Governance Forum. And my name is Rebecca, and it's my honor to serve the MC for this opening. Prior to the opening ceremony of the 18th annual meeting of the Internet Governance Forum, we now present as the opening act, reconceptualizing traditional Japanese theater, Kabuki, to Lion with Sansui, media installation by Naoko Tosa. Kabuki is a novel and unusual performing art that appeared in Kyoto at the beginning of the Edo period. In this new work, a heroic lion spirit appeared in a climactic scene of Renjishi, a masterpiece of Kabuki. The scene in where the lion smells a flower and makes a violent movement known as the madness was performed by professional Kabuki actor. Creating a digital Kabuki performance is suitable for an international IT conference. So please, Enjoy this opening performance.
Now, I would like to welcome Mr. Lee Junfar, Under Secretary General of United Nations, and His Excellency Mr. Kishida Fumio, the Prime Minister of Japan, to the stage. So please welcome Mr. Lee and His Excellency Mr. Kishida. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today for the 18th annual meeting of the Internet Governance Forum, organized by United Nations and hosted by Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications. Now, I'd like to start the opening ceremony. First of all, we would like to welcome Mr. Antonio guterres Let. Secretary General of the United Nations to the screen. Video message will be introduced by Mr. Lee Junfar, Under Secretary General of the United Nations. So Mr. Lee, please proceed to the podium. Good morning. Your Excellency, Mr. Fushimo Kishida, Prime Minister of the Japan, Excellencies, distinguished participants, I have the honor to introduce the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Antonio Guterres, who will deliver a video address. Peace. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to greet the Internet Governance Forum as you gather in Kyoto. Let me begin by thanking you for your invaluable efforts bringing together governments, the private sector, civil society, and the technical community for the essential task of advancing an open, safe, and global internet. For ne nearly two decades, this multi-stakeholder cooperation has proven remarkably productive and remarkably resilient in the face of growing geopolitical tensions, proliferating crises, and widening divisions. Your work is now more important than ever. We need to keep harnessing digital technologies enabled by the internet to help deliver on the sustainable development goals, take climate action, and build a better world. I see three areas for action. First, we must work together to close the connectivity gap and bring the remaining 2.6 billion people online, in particular women and girls in least developed countries. Second, we must work together to close the governance gap including by elevating and better aligning the work of the IGF and other digital bodies across the UN system and beyond. Third and fundamentally, we need to reinforce a human rights and human-centered approach to digital cooperation. It is imperative that the internet, including the physical infrastructure that underpins it, remains open, secure and accessible to all. This means that the Internet's long-established multi-stakeholder institutions need more support, not less. The leadership panel I've established for the Internet Governance Forum is aimed at providing strategic guidance, supporting stable funding, and amplifying the impact of your important work. To help advance the search for concrete governance solutions, I'm appointing a high-level advisory board the, on artificial intelligence, which will provide preliminary recommendations by the end of this year. And the Global Digital Compact, proposed for adoption at the Summit of the Future in 2024, aims to set out principles, objectives and actions to secure a human-centered digital future. Governments, the private sector and civil society must come together regularly to ensure that the commitments enshrined in the Compact are followed up. We cannot afford another retreat into silos. We must work to prevent gaps from emerging on new digital technologies, avoid duplication, and address emerging risks effectively. I look to your gathering in Kyoto to provide critical input to advance our collective efforts. Together, we can realize the ambition spelled out in the team of your forum and build the internet we want to empower all people. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. Please allow me to join the Secretary General to extending our gratitude to the government of the Japan for hosting us. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, 
as the Secretary General reminded us, the challenge confronting the global community in reaching the 2030, deliver, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development are vast and complex. The internet will play an integral role in navigating these complexities, moving us towards a better and a more resilient future. But this requires responsible policies that leverage the benefits of digital technologies while mitigating the risks. The Internet Governance Forum must respond through the UN's convening role to bring every country and every individual together, regardless of the stakeholder groups or the backgrounds. IGF needs to further strengthen its role as a being a global digital policy forum in finding points of convergence and the consensus and in identifying the digital solutions in reaching the 2030 agenda. In this connection, I welcome the focus of the forum on the urgent and the relevant digital issues and look forward to your contributions and the recommendations on the way forward. Ladies and gentlemen, 18 years ago, in 2005, the IGF received its mandate through the World Summit on Information Society. In 2025, the United Nations General Assembly will review this mandate. Member states will consider the impacts and outcomes of the forum and determine its future. With this in mind, I invite you to consider three questions during this year's IGF. First, has the IGF delivered on its mandate and purpose? Second, how can the internet better support and accelerate the achievement of the SDGs? Third, how can the IGF best support both the preparations of and the follow-up to the Global Digital Compact and the Summit of the Future? This forum is aimed at empowering all countries to deliver the better digital policies, to support the more open, inclusive, and the safe access to digitalization for all people. We must ensure that it is delivering on that aim. We call for the closer collaboration and partnership among stakeholders, greater digital innovation for accelerating SDG implementation, and force the technical assistance to the global south to bridge the digital divide. Together, let us leverage the inclusive, multi-stakeholder approach of the Internet Governance Forum to build the internet we want. I thank you. Thank you very much, Excellency. Next. I invite His Excellency, Mr. Kishida Fumio, the Prime Minister of Japan, to deliver his remarks. His Excellency, Mr. Kishida, please proceed to the podium. I am Fumio Kishida, Prime Minister of Japan. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Japan. I would first like to express my respects to all of the forum participants, both here in person and online, for continuing discussions on how to make the internet better and for your relentless efforts to make this a reality. My true respects to all of you. The basic philosophy of the Internet Governance Forum, which values open, democratic, and inclusive processes, is truly in line with the fundamental values of my own country. We are very pleased to be able to welcome you here for the first time as the host nation of the Internet Governance Forum annual meeting. 
digital technologies such as the internet is the engine of economic activity and of growth for people around the world. The internet functions as a free and diverse forum for expression that enables access to information and services that transcend time and space. It has not only become essential to our daily lives and socioeconomic activities, but it also forms a critical foundation for democratic societies. A free and unfragmented internet is also essential for solving humanity's challenges, such as development, health, and security, as well as for the further development of humankind. On the other hand, it is also true that the Internet has given rise to the proliferation of unlawful and harmful information, including disinformation, cyber attacks, and cyber crime, which threaten our safety and free socioeconomic activities. We cannot afford to turn our backs on these challenges. I am convinced that we can maximize the benefits of the Internet while reducing its risks by bringing together participants from all over the world in various positions and with different perspectives to share their wisdom through the multi-stakeholder approach. I believe the overall theme of this year's meeting, which is the Internet we want, empowering all people, is a powerful expression of our determination to realize an inclusive Internet that leaves no one behind and to pave the way for a sustainable future for humanity. As the host nation, my government believes it is our important responsibility to contribute to this discussion. We believe that the Internet must remain open, free, global, interoperable, secure, and trustworthy in order to promote data free flow with trust. DFFT, and to continue its contribution to human development. And Japan remains committed to supporting Internet governance by diverse multi-stakeholders. Last but not least, our host city of Kyoto is imbued with rich history and traditions. So I hope that as you engage in lively discussions about the future of the Internet and network with other participants, that you also enjoy the culture, food, and hospitality that Tokyo and Japan has to offer. I do hope that this meeting in Kyoto will be meaningful and fruitful for the future of the international community and for each and every one of you. With that, I would like to conclude my opening address. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Excellency. And thank you. Please give a round of applause once again to the speakers.